Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Widener from MassageChairRelief.com and today we are going to uh, introduce you to the Unata Sonio for someone that's using it for the first time and wants to get started and doesn't know exactly how to use it. I've had a number of my clients ask me about uh, whether when the chair is delivered, and, and by, by the way, white glove delivery is included with the Unata Sonio, uh, which is coming into the home, the shippers will set up the chair, uh, assemble it, unpack it of course, assemble it, and then take out all the packing material. Well, a lot of people ask, well, will the shippers show me how to use the chair? And usually no, because the shippers don't know how to use the chair, they know how to set it up, but they've never used it. So this video is to introduce people to the chair for the first time, how to use it the first time, and uh, maybe, and what I'll do is I'll also explain to you what we do with people when they come into the try out the chair for the first time, the program we put them on, and we'll go over a brief review of how to use the remote control and things to be aware of while you're sitting on the chair for the very first time. So anyways, what you do when you get in the chair is you want to sit in it and make sure that when you put your feet in the, uh, in the ottoman that you don't flip over the airbags. You'll see here there's a tendency to, if you're not careful, that the flimsy airbags will become fold it over and you won't get the full benefit of the massage there. And you sit in the chair, when you sit in the chair don't worry about the headpiece being in the between your shoulder blades and down below your shoulder blades because when the chair reclines that headpiece will, when you recline that headpiece will kind of slide up a little bit up your spine and then once you're in the reclined position that you want then you can kind of snuggle in there and get sit, get set in the chair in a really comfortable position. So what I do is I grab the remote, the very first thing I do is I grab the remote and you'll notice on the remote control that when you, when you get the chair for the very first time this light will be uh, a yellow whitish light. That just means the chair is in standby. If you turn, push the stop button uh, the light will turn red and you will not be able to do anything on it. You can't recline, you can't use any airbags, nothing. And it also will display up here, it'll say that the stop is activated uh, and you'll have to push the button again to get back to the standby which is the, which is the yellow or white. Now what we do, the first thing we do is you, we push the button to go to green. Green means you're good to go. In the yellow you can recline it and bring it up and down and get out of the chair okay and raise the ottoman up and down but you just can't use any of the functions. When you got green, you're good to go. Green is good to go. And you'll see here on the remote also you've got a full body massage here, a full body air massage if you just want airbags and no rollers. Here's a youth massage program for shorter people and youth. The chair is designed for people from 4'11 up to 6'4 so for shorter folks even the youth program would work even for a shorter adult. Quick is what we give to every everybody that sits in the Sonia for the very first time we put them on the quick program which gives us taste of all the different automatic programs. It's a great way to get introduced to the chair. So if you're, if you're sitting in your chair for the first time today, turn on the green light, push the quick button and it'll run you through and we'll go over that in a minute. We also have a morning program, a night program, a stretch program and a dream wave program. Those are all the automatic programs. And then underneath the, underneath the, underneath the uh, handle are all the manual programs. So you can do manual settings. I'm just going to get my glasses on because I'm getting old and I'm getting blind. But you can do, uh, you can, uh, do shoulder air, you can do uh, arm air, you can do back vibration, seat air, foot air, or you can just do rolling, full or partial rolling, and then push what you want the rollers to do. Kneading, double kneading, human hands, shiatsu, tapping. Uh, you can increase the speed of it, the width of the rollers. Uh, so this is where you can do everything manually. There's a mute here so you don't hear all the dings and dongs and all the sounds going off. There's also a heater button where you can turn on and off the heater. Up here, oh and by the way, whenever you turn on a, a manual program or an automatic program, and you're going to see this when we, when we turn on the quick program, it will uh, immediately uh, tell you, well this is what happens, people will push a button to start a program and then they'll push other buttons to try to increase the intensity or like the back 3D intensity or they'll try to uh, uh, you know increase the speed or whatever or the air level and it will say here on your display it'll say not available, that feature is not available. That does not mean it's not working, it just means that during the body scan which happens at the beginning of every one of these programs, during the body scan you cannot touch any of the other buttons and have them work because the chair is doing its own thing which is scanning your back, figuring out how, t how tight you are, what the shape of your muscles or the shape of your spine is, how tight your muscles are, your height. It's assessing your body type and then it's going to cater the massage to that and that lasts for about 45 seconds. And then once that scan is done and the massage begins, then you can go in here and start changing things and playing around a little bit. Okay. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press the quick program. And again, uh, Brock, if you'll go out a little bit and so that we can see how, uh, how I have the, the head pieces down low. It looks abnormal because your head should be resting inside the headpiece. But when you recline, you'll understand why we do this because we want you to fit in this chair very snug. It is meant to be a snug fitting, very comfortable chair. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push the quick program, which is the program I choose to use. You may use that at first and then you can go after and use any of the programs for heaven's sakes. Have fun with it. But now that the quick program has started, it says here adjusting recline. So it's telling us on the display that it's adjusting the recline. You'll see that it's going back. Not all the programs have a preset positioning. You can adjust the positioning here on this part of the of remote control where the recline you can go up or down or the ottoman can go up or down. Now, now that it's reclined and my ottoman's up all the way, now I snuggle into it and I put my arms inside the arm massage and I get this part of the headpiece right on top of my shoulders because there's airbags that push down on the shoulders and I want those. They feel great. And then I can cradle my head in the headpiece. The problem is, is if you if you snuggle into the chair when it's upright and then it reclines, the headpiece, relatively speaking, will slide up and your head will be down too low and your, your, your head will be kind of propped forward. It's very uncomfortable. But when you're cradled in the headpiece, it's very comfortable. So right now on the display, it says it's adjusting the shoulder position. In other words, it's figuring out where my shoulder is relative to the rest of my body, and it's doing a fine-tuned shiatsu scan. And that's what it's doing right now. It's locating shiatsu points on my spine. The rollers are going up and down my spine, and it's going down to my low back and well into my buttocks, which is one of the great features of this chair. And it looks like now oh, the session has begun. See, the session now starts. If I would have tried to change any of these settings during the scan, it would have said here, on the display, the function not available. Now the massage has started. Now I can do whatever I want. Now I can adjust the intensity, and that's this button here where it says back 3D. It'll push the rollers more forward, and you'll see it's pushing my body more forward, and that increases the intensity, or you can lessen the intensity. Push the, but the negative button, see how it lets my body drop down, and now the intensity is diminished. Now the headpiece is working. I've got airbags going there. I've got airbags going in my calves. This program is now operating in full function and I can go in and adjust whatever I want. I can adjust the air level if I want it more intense. That's this little button on the bottom right. There's low, medium, and high airbag intensity. And if I want vibration off, I can push this button and turn the vibration off. Now see these airbags are pushing down on my shoulders. I love that. But if I would have gotten into the chair initially and got snuggled into the, in, underneath the headpiece and positioned before that, before the massage started, before it reclined, I would not be feeling the full benefit of these airbags. So we like to have people completely snuggled with their head reclined and cradled in the headpiece. It's very comfortable. Okay, so that is what you do when you're a new, when you're a new user of the Anato Sonio. Very simple. Get in it, sit up, push the quick button, and then let the chair recline, get snuggled in, get your arms in the airbags, uh, in the airbag arm massage, and just let your head fall back and let the chair do its thing. And don't try to adjust anything while it's scanning your body because it won't work. And you'll think that something's wrong with the chair because it'll say function not available. That's only during the scan. And when the scan's done, then you just enjoy the massage and let it do its thing. If you want to change it, change the intensity, change anything, go ahead and change it. Now, let's say I want to, okay, let's say I'm done with this program. It'll, it, it defaults after a certain number of minutes. The program will stop. The chair will stop. And this little light will turn from green to white again or yellow and then it stops and then you have to push the, re the, the, the recline button the upward position and it'll bring everything back up to the neutral position again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you next how to use the manual programs. So I'm, I'm pushing this button to bring it up. It brings the ottoman down and the, and the chair back up. Now of course from this position if I just want to bring the ottoman up it's called the leg rest on the remote here. If I push the leg rest button and bring the ottoman up up comes the ottoman. So you can adjust that from this remote as well. If you want to lower the ottoman, you want it more comfortable, like if you want to, let's say you recline the chair, but you're thinking, oh, you know what, I, I want it more reclined, but I want the legs down more because I'm really tall and I want to be able to fit better. So you can, you can recline the chair as far back as you want. So let's say I recline it. By the way, notice how the light is yellow or white. And so it's in standby, but I'm able to raise the chair, lower the chair, raise the ottoman, lower the ottoman. So now, let's say I'm in this position, and I, the, 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 uh, the, the recline 
you'll see it adjusts the chair back recline and the ottoman. But let's say I'm in this position now and maybe I'm 6'5 or 6'4 and it's too tight for me or too, it feels too short. You can lower the ottoman now and it'll bring the ottoman down isolated while the chair back remains reclined. Okay, so that is, and then of course to bring everything back up, just push the up position for the recline button and up you come again. Now, if you want to adjust, and we're just going to wait for everything to come back up again. And you'll see the ottoman is down, now the chair back is coming back up to position. There is not a restore button on this one where you push the button and everything comes back up again. You have to just hold this button down the whole time. Okay, so now we're back up to neutral. Now let's say that I want to, and i got to get my glasses on again, have another senior moment. I want, to, I want to use one of the manual settings. Let's say I just want to have shoulder air. You know the airbags that push on the shoulder, which I love. I'll push the button on for green, on, push the shoulder air, and you'll notice here now it makes a beep when it starts. And that's the beep you can turn off if you push the mute button. Now it's in the shoulder airbag massage. Now it's massaging me, and I'm not reclining for you. I'm just staying in the upward, upright position. But now I am going to want to change the. I, now I want to change the position or, or the intensity from shoulder air high or low to medium, and then this one is shoulder air high. Now that the scanning is done, I can go ahead and adjust that and make it more intense or less intense, and you're on your way. Now, I have it on shoulder air, but if I want to have some, uh, let's say I want to have some foot air, I can push on foot air independent of the shoulder air, and now I can have the airbags go down into the feet. But what you'll find, oh man, this is a good massage, holy cow. But what you'll find is when the airbags are going on in the neck, they will not go on in the feet, so it'll alternate. So now that I have the foot air on, when the air is, when this little cycle is completed in the neck, then the ottoman will turn on and the airbags and the feet and, and, and the calves will turn on. So it alternates. Not all the air gets dispersed at the same time to all the different airbags. So uh, that's an important thing to know as well. So you might push foot massage. After you've pushed shoulder massage, you might think, well, how come the foot's not inflating? Well, it's because all the air is being directed towards the, uh, towards the shoulders. And then after that is done, or the shoulders and neck, after that's done, then they'll go down to the feet and legs. And, uh, and then it'll concentrate on that. You'll also notice when you're on an automatic program, the airbag don't turn on all of them at the same time. You'll have airbags that'll go on the neck and then one arm and then the other arm and then the calves and then the seat. So it kind of is an alternating, uh, it's almost a hypnotic. It's very, very comfortable. Okay, now see the airbags in the neck have stopped. Now the ottoman airbags are inflating. You see? Because now the air is, is being directed away from the neck down into the feet and the calves. And that's kind of a uh, that's kind of how it always works with the chair. It kind of alternates so not all the air is being dispersed at the same time. And that is an introduction to the Inata Sonio. That's getting started on the Inata Sonio. And hopefully that is a good enough guideline for you when you're getting started. If, it's still, if you're still having confusion about how to use the chair right off the bat, give me a call at 888-259-5380 or at our showroom at 801-417-8240. And of course, you can always see all of our videos on the Sonio either on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash massage chair relief, or on the website, uh, massagecharity.com, we have all of the, uh, all of the uh, videos that we filmed for the Sonio all in one place there on, our, on, our, on the product page as well. So I'm Dr. Alan Widener from Massage Charity. Thanks for visiting us today, and I hope this gets you started on your new Inada Sonio.